Hello, I'm Sandra Higgins, and uh, we're filming tonight from the viewing room, Hansard Muse. It's a pop-up gallery. I have a space in Bath, and I've come to London to exhibit the 18 distinguished artists that I have in my online gallery. I feel that artists should speak for themselves, and I think the best way to get artists to express themselves, because in the past they've told me they're hesitant, they don't want to write about their work, they don't want to speak about it. And when you have artists in dialogue with one another, similar artists or dissimilar, talking about the similarities and the dissimilarities, they sometimes come up with um, splendid observations of their own work as well. So I think it's a very exciting thing to do. Two of the artists that we're profiling here, Mark Elliott Smith and Mark Curie, they're both collage artists and they work in similar ways. However, Mark Elliott Smith is very exacting and paints the elements in his canvas and adheres them uh, to the canvas so they become a painting. Whereas Mark Curie uh, is more spontaneous, he uses uh, found objects and he creates a, uh, an eclectic kind of collage. So they discussed that. And in doing so, they, uh, they realized, uh, as I said, the similarities and the dissimilarities in their work. And I think you asked me, does it build their confidence? Yes, because once they are able to express where they're coming from, you know, that old kind of phrase, um, it rings true. And I think it, it's a, an honesty that they, they discover in their work. <laughs> when did you start collaging, actually? I'm curious. Have you always, um, is it something you've always done? Well, no, it, it wasn't um, something that I really decided that I wanted to do. It just sort of formed that way in, in, in the um, style of, of work that, that I ended up developing, which was um, creating paintings. I wanted to have that really uh, crisp, nice, flat, bold colour, you know. Yeah, so did you, were you getting, were you finding surfaces, material that already had that flat, bold colour and then get, and then like hoarding them or were you printing or how, I um, No, I mean, process? it's, it really, um, it's drawing really. I, I do a lot of um, sketching in colour pencil. So, yeah. um, um, and, and sometimes in, in response to, um, to music I'm listening to, yeah, and um, and that then influences uh, the, the the paintings at the late, later stage. Yeah, yeah. but um, um, what I'll do with those drawings is um, I'll I'll gather them all up and um, reassemble them, and um, certain elements I'll take and and I'll reposition them and I'll multi layer different um, aspects of those drawings, uh, one on top of another. And then it's a process of um, uh, construction from that and destruction as well. The layering isn't, um, it doesn't create like an obvious depth because they're painted so flat, but actually there is a lot of depth. When you, when you look, you can see certain forms and shapes up in front of others, um, some are behind. And, but I've painted them in such a way that it, to trick the viewer's mind in the sense that, you know, is that shape actually behind or in front, yeah. you know, and, and um, so there's this whole play with, with um, the illusion of depth, I think, in, in the work, even though it's very flat, so, and, and that's something that is, um, it's, it's very tricky to create that balance, yeah. Yeah. you know, so. Um, so <laughs> just, just with those elements, so yeah. there's co colour, which is already playing a dynamic, there's the shape, and then there's the, the space that you're using, the yeah. flat shapes, all, all of those, in a sense, you could translate them to different aspects of what you hear when you're listening to music. And that's something that Kandinsky yeah. did. Exactly. I mean, yeah. you know, he, he was literally translating what he could hear. Yeah. And it was interesting so that you made that reference. Earlier. Yeah, so, so there is a, a kind of a synesthesia thing, you know. Yeah. So um, you're seeing the the sound as color, you know, or, or the yeah, musical yeah. notes, um, or the the shapes. You're con sort of converting them into into shape. Yeah, I, I I've had terrible experience of making work yeah. about music. So, so uh, music. how about with your your? Um, well, these are, there's no no music here. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> <laughs> do, do you like silence? I mean, do you like do you, 
you make no, them? No, no. I like um, I listen to music, but I they they are, there is it doesn't feed into those works at all. I keep them separate, I suppose. They're visual. As you, you said these are abstract, and, and my works are, ca- are kind of abstract. But I had a conversation with you recently about the fact that there's pretty there's, there's an element of landscape going on in there as well. So so I live quite close to the Thames, and I'm constantly aware of the level of water. There seems to be awareness that we're spinning around when you're near the Thames. You, you know, you feel like you're on a planet because what, you know, the level of the Thames is moving and seeing things disappear beyond, beyond the horizon. It, it feels like you, you really feel quite grounded. I felt quite grounded. Uh, that air being and flowing, that movement is like, like moving into your subconscious and then moving back into the conscious, back into the subconscious, yeah. back into the conscious yeah. again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know, that, yeah, that kind of happens every 24 hours. It's, it's going to sleep, isn't it? Yeah, it's, exactly. It's switching yeah. off and switching on. Switch. And that, that balance of those the sort of realms that we're constantly occupying, they, I think that's, what's, that's, that's kind of what oh, I yeah, feel like I'm yeah. engaged with. Do you literally make a body of work that is intended, you, you want to see it together? I mean, you're able to do that um, in your studio, like hang a lot Yeah, of... and it's, it's fascinating when you see the work together, like that, you know, because they're all like characters that are yeah. coming from the same place. Yeah, yeah. That you're seeing them as, as one, as one experience. I've been working in a sketchbook for two years, so I don't get that experience. Yeah. I didn't you know, work in like a sketchbook page, enough. That's a, that's one a nice page. <laughs> it's, you know, and, and uh, a little while ago, a year ago when I framed them, that was a shock to see them all out of the sketchbook mm. and see them as this big family. I'd, I'd kind of known them as little individuals. Yeah, yeah. And then they were all isn't spread that, out. That's interesting, and, isn't it? Yeah. You know, yeah, yeah, Because yeah. that really opens up something about what art is, you know, what, what that is about. You, you know, they're like re- reproductions in a way of, our, of ourselves, of our minds. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to attempt to try and make some big paintings um, that are, which isn't new. It's not like it's a new idea. I've, I was before lockdown, um, which is the reason I moved into working in a sketchbook, was not having access to a bigger space anymore. Yeah. So, you know, working from home, so I work from a small sketchbook. Um, but th- then this became something different and new, and um, I don't necessarily want to derail that but at the same time I'm really curious I really want to make a slightly bigger experience abstract work which is an experience you know it's it's it's, um it's heart art you know so so you're feeling it it's 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 not so much about the conceptual you know um although that that does play a part in it It, it's yeah it's immersive yeah um so, uh, and, and I think that's really important to me. I think that's, that's why I tend to create big works. Yeah. Um, because to, to me, it, it, it's like um, someone going to, it's sort of the equivalent of someone going to a concert, you know, and, and, yeah. and, uh, and just taking that experience in. It becomes more of a... Um, uh, a public experience in a way. I, I could I imagine think. these huge, you know, yeah, really spread yeah. on walls, or, yeah, you know, and, and yeah. actually off um, off the canvas. You know, it's almost like street art. There's something you can see that it element really to spreading. It. It, I think yeah, you're right. It's, it's got that element to it, but without it being mm. that, the finished piece I think needs to be. Um, in in my mind, it needs to be perfectly balanced. You know, so so. Each particular shape or, or color, it needs to be that shape or that color in those positions. Yeah. You know, so, so it's something, it's one of those, I think if, if for me, if I'm doing a big work, it, you need to come back to it again and again. Do you make work digitally? No, I, I don't do digital work. Um, it, um, it can help um, in... Um, Sometimes in the initial stages of, of, of um, sort of preliminary okay. stages of creating um, of new work, um, but I, I don't create digital work. No. You know, I, I'm one of these people. I don't know if I'm just old-fashioned or something. I don't think I am, but um, I, I don't agree with the 
NFT thing, you know, <laughs> uh, that, that's not where I'm coming from. Yeah, no, I don't do either. I mean, I like it. Um, uh, I'm, I'm not, I, I quite like making, physically making things, I suppose. Um, yeah. I just, I just, you know, I like tearing. Well, I just, so many skill, times I've been asked mm. about, like, why don't you do this? Or there's a shortcut. And I go, I don't know. I should have done that. I didn't yeah. think of that. But it's, it's maybe because I just actually quite don't yeah. mind. I think that's what makes it a fine art, though, isn't it? Because yeah. it's a human physical skill, isn't it? Yeah. You know, I think that's the difference. You know, I it's think that's where the value is. That happens, yeah. you know, and I think that level of engagement is something that I still quite value. And I like to think that other people can, because it's been handmade, the work, well, people then will notice that, you know, they, they not only feel that, but they'll be able to see it too, you know. Mm. So you've got something that's authentically of that person, you know, it's not, you've not fed it through a machine and then, you know, downloaded it or printed it out or something, you know. So um, to me, that's where the value of, of any sort of one-off real work is, you know. When do you know, um, or how do you know when to stop? I just, so I worked that I finished a couple of days ago. I cut it out again. I was talking to my wife, Bash, about mm. it. Just like, yeah. I've under, I've, and there's, you know, yeah. it's, it's, it, it's, I thought I'd got there. Yeah, but I don't think yeah, yeah. I'm, you know, Something just I, doesn't I would feel still right. feel yeah. that I can go back and change something. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. I'll, I'll cut it up or so do you wake up in the middle of the night thinking oh I should have done that <laughs> <Sometimes>. <laughs> I do yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. absolutely yeah, yeah. Yeah. Genuinely. that's yeah. right yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. well because it means it means a lot you know I mean to me it means a lot it's, it's my life that like, one thing that I've got some control over in my life is my art <laughs> you know <laughs> you want to get that the balance just right it's, it's a matter of coming back and then and then, and then leaving it and then, and then coming back to it like several days later, even even sometimes a couple of weeks. I come to a stop with it, um, but if it isn't actually doing what I was intended to do, it's, yeah. it's really dissatisfying. Do you have a certain iconography of symbols? Once again, Kent Dinsky's <clears throat> kids yeah. coming up in the conversation, yeah. and the triangle, and Kent Dinsky thought the triangle was, you know, the... Yeah, for a spell there was a small rectangle, um, that uh, had had particular reference to uh, door, and then other references to steps, so and ladders. Mm -hmm. They and I, I I don't really hide from that. So the titles often refer directly mm -hmm. to steps or ladders or doors. Um, uh, I I suppose there's there's definitely a sense that I um, want to invite people, partly into the space, into those little private spaces. I think if you make art, you, you kind of have to entice people. You have to bring, you still want to bring people and make somebody want to look at something. That's language, isn't it, in a way? Yeah. That's a language. I mean, we're, we're using, we're, we're saying something visually through, in, a, in an abstract way of, of understanding. We're not, we're not using words like we are now. And it, it, it's, it's quite difficult in a way, isn't it, to, to really describe Shame. something um, because we're, we're, we're both doing abstract work. You can use words to describe it, but it describes itself, I think, through the use of, of, of the colour and, and the balance of, of form and shape and, and particular shapes and, and which mean something. Yeah, yeah so. but as well, I, I think it's... Uh, it, it's they, 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 you know, your artwork becomes autonomous. My children might look at it, my wife might have a look at what I'm doing and interpret it completely differently from yeah. what yeah, yeah. I've done um, mm. or what my intention, my motivation is. And it, it means that it's, it's not it's just legitimate. I mean, I, you know, to withhold something, you, you don't want to spell everything out and say this work is about this and that and this no. and, you know, and, and have to share that with everybody because then there wouldn't be room for someone else to put something in there. Yeah, it keeps it alive, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. It keeps it moving, keeps it, keeps the work active. And people yeah. are so visually sophisticated. Oh, honestly, I, th I think the world, you know, the, the, people see so many, we see so much mm. that it's, it's quite exciting making new, <laughs> trying to make something new. 
I think probably if there are no more questions, we'll just thank you very much. And <laughs>